Bruh. No. Welcome back to another video, y'all. Today, you see the title and you see the thumbnail of today's video, man. We got a reaction video. If you don't want to play that way, don't play that way. Bruh. No. Boom. Oh, no. What? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy Kyrie, man. Welcome back to another video, y'all. Today, you see the title, you see the thumbnail of today's video, man. We got a reaction video. I am going to be reacting to Billie Eilish before they were famous. Leave a like, scroll down, subscribe to join the hashtag Kyle family, man. My name is Billy, and this is Lucia. Come here. Before Billie Eilish would be a role model for people all over the world. People are like, you're a role model. Like, how can you, how can you say that if you're somebody's? People are looking up to you, Billy. Like, how could you possibly say something like that? I'm like, you know why they're looking up to me? Because I say shit like that. Before Billie Eilish would win five Grammys as well as numerous other awards and accolades, alongside her brother, who is a big part of the Billie Eilish brand. Our friendship and like siblingship or whatever is is kind of exactly the same as our professional relationship. We don't really turn on like a, a business switch. I feel a great sense of satisfaction when Billy feels close enough to me to go. I don't like that at all. Before Billie Eilish would have over 31 million subscribers on YouTube with over 6.3 billion views, 7.2 million followers on Instagram, and 4.5 million on Twitter. One of my favorite parts about that's, making that's music crazy, is that. Bro. People take it in the way that they take it, and I have no control over that. Billie Eilish has taken the music industry by storm. At just 18 years old, the LA native who still lives in her childhood home hey has man, won we got numerous awards, so including five Eddie, Grammys, two American second, Music man, Awards, man, and plenty of others. She's also been on world uh, tours, made Forbes 30 under 30 list, and isn't showing signs of slowing down anytime soon. Most recently being praised for her latest track, which is the theme song for the new James Bond film, it appears Billie is here to stay, and truthfully, I don't mind. Man, this With video is 10 minutes long, bro. For fame and focus on the craft of music like itself. 10 minutes to I will say it's incredibly refreshing that. to find a true that. artist who you isn't pumping out music short. just to stay Five popular. And for that so reason alone, I have no doubt Billy is going to have an extremely successful career. Although one could argue she's already done more in her short career than others have in decades. Absolutely horrendous. Like just like horrifying. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Wonder Famous. I'm your host for this one, Jared Bronstein, and today we'll be documenting the life and career of Billy Eilish. We've done other videos on Billy in the past, but as we learn more, we gotta keep these videos updated. Let us know your favorite Billy song down below and feel free to drop some suggestions on who we should cover next. For now, let's get right into it. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Hi, my Thank name you, is man. Billy and I am going to I play that was the beginning of the video. a song that I made up Very with strange. this guitar. Billy Eilish Pirate Baird O'Connell was born on December 18th, 2001 in Los Angeles, California. Wow. She's the daughter of Maggie Baird and Patrick O'Connell, both of whom have history in the entertainment industry. However, Maggie also worked as a screenwriter, All producer, right, nice. and teacher, mm -hmm. while her husband Patrick has also done his fair share of work in construction. The two of them are also amateur musicians. After meeting in New York, the two would decide to start their family in Los Angeles, where both Billy and her older brother Phineas would be born. Phineas is four years older than Billy, and from a young age, the two would seem to work well off of each other. Growing up in Highland Park, Billy and Phineas would be homeschooled, which led to Maggie teaching the children the basics of songwriting and Patrick teaching Billy how to play piano. Speaking on the first song she wrote, Billy recalls, I quote, when I was four, I wrote a song about falling into a black hole. The name of that song is Fingers Crossed, and it was apparently inspired by her favorite show at the time, The Walking Dead. The song itself is still available on her SoundCloud page, and at the time of this recording has been played over 5.8 million times. When it comes to musical influences, mm. Eilish has cited a range of genres, from Peggy no. Lee to Justin Bieber, The Beatles, Green Day, Avril Lavigne, and of course, Drake. Ruby introduced you to Green Day, took you to Green Day. Bro. Yo, ew, why do you Bro. know that? 
That's Bro, so irrelevant. She was making music when she was like, so irrelevant. She, she but it seems there's like two people three, in particular that she feels incredibly crazy. strongly yeah. about when it comes to music. Man, I got another ad. Why are you putting so many ads in the video? At least the latter, her music resembles at times. Goblin, crazy, greatest man. album like, ever. She's making music since she was like Frank, five, also six, the greatest. Bro. I can't even. I'm done. That's, Here I am. That's actually crazy. I've done it. With that being said, Eilish claims the motto from Take Care is her favorite song of all time and also appreciates <sighs> the sounds of Childish Gambino, Lana Del Rey, as well Tyler as Spooky Creator. Black, a rapper who now goes by the name Corbin from St. Paul, Minnesota. Aside from her love for music, which was evident from a young age, Billy also grew fond of horses as well as dancing and photography. At just eight years old, she would enroll in the Los Angeles Children's Chorus, and if you look closely, you can see a young Billy front row, three in from the right, smiling and eagerly awaiting her time to shine. Billy would also try her hand in acting from a young age, but it's clear she didn't want to follow in her parents' footsteps. In an interview with BBC, Billy recalled going to an audition, and I came back going, I hate this. I'm not she doing this like ever a cowgirl, again. When I'm asked what exactly happened, I mean, not a cowgirl. Billy she said, she horses. some lame stuff, I'm, dude. I, Still at nine years old, she Billy and her two horses, friends bro. would enter into the 96-hour really film festival, I mean, where they had to write, shoot, and edit a short film cowboy. in just 96 yeah, hours. I mean, I mean, I you know what I mean, be a romance, include a specific line, and a crazy dog walker. The film itself is titled In Love, Psych, and is still currently up on YouTube. This is not how I wanted our play date to be. Yeah. I don't think it's just what? fun. <gasps> Wait a minute. What? Although this pair of family had crazy, a creative bro. muscle they truly enjoyed working, Billy also found something about being with horses incredibly calming. Professional horseback rider and a professional gymnast. Her family couldn't afford for her to take riding lessons, but Billy was determined, so she got a job working at a local stable to pay for lessons at just 10 years old. She explained, I wanted it, so I worked for it and I got it. I worked at the barn for two summers. I was a horse camp counselor. I worked at birthdays, but I stopped because I am not rich and never will be and never was. That shit is expensive. To ride a horse, even anything that has to do with a horse is expensive. After a while, nobody was taking me seriously because when you're not rich, everyone at the stables is like, shoo. Hey man, and listen, you already know, like man, y'all saw, uh, y'all saw, uh, say, bring me, um, peace. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk too very... much. Not, it's not playing, very peaceful. But... It's a lot of fun and it's a lot of excitement. Being Billy, a creative kid with a know, true love for the arts, Billy would also spend a lot of her youth dancing. Spending up to 11 hours a week at the local dance studio, Billy loved dancing, although she wasn't a fan of ballet. However, she still had to learn how to dance ballet and also has experience in tap, jazz, and other genres. At 13, she actually joined a dance company, Revolution Dance Center, but doesn't have the fondest memories of her time there. I quote her saying, I wasn't as confident. I couldn't speak and just be normal. When I think about it or see pictures of me then, I was so not okay with who I was. I was always worried about my appearance. That was the peak of my body dysmorphia. I couldn't look in the mirror at all. This is in reference to the really tiny clothes Billy had to wear at dress rehearsals. Although in the clip we're about to show you, Billy appears to be wearing the most baggy clothing of all the girls in what appears to be a black hoodie. She's on the far left if you couldn't tell. However, Billy owes a lot to the dance studio her and her brother practically called home for all these years. In fact, Billy actually said it best herself, this dance studio really deserves all the credit for the beginning of this journey. But what eventually turned into Billy's first viral hit was actually supposed to just be a song that was used at the dance studio. In 2015, Billy suffered a growth plate injury which would unfortunately lead to her hanging up her dancing shoes. However, this would be a blessing in disguise as Billy would spend more time working on music with her brother Phineas. It's no secret that the two are close, with Billy commonly referring to Phineas as her brother and best friend. And this close-knit relationship has certainly done wonders for both of their careers, with Phineas producing and writing all of Billy's music with her. However, it wasn't always that way. Speaking with Variety, Billy explained, the first songs that we worked on, we didn't write together. He wrote this song called She's Broken, and I wrote one called Fingers Crossed. And we recorded them and put them out on SoundCloud just for fun. Bro, but it wouldn't be long before the two would team up with the song bro. Ocean she, Eyes, which would change their lives forever. Originally written for Phineas and Band at the time, dollars, Billy's older brother felt bro. it would sound like, best how? in her voice. It just so happened a few days prior to Phineas yeah. approaching Billy with a song, oh, Fred Diaz, Billy's old she's dance teacher, really asked her and Phineas like... to make a song for him to teach a choreographed she's dance really... to. It's almost as if the stars align Bro, perfectly. So After many Phineas talked Billy the, the song, they put it together and uploaded it on their SoundCloud for their God, dance teacher to download. God. In a 2017 interview with Teen Vogue, Billy explained, we put it on SoundCloud with a free download link next to it so my dance Shit. teacher could access it. Shit. We had no intentions Shit. for it, really. But basically, overnight, a ton of people started hearing it and sharing it. Hilly Dilly, a music discovery website, found it and posted it, and it just got bigger and bigger. It was really sexy. Then Danny Rukasin, who is now my manager, reached out to my brother and was like, dude, this is going to get huge and I think you're going to need help along the way. I wanna help you guys. We were like, that's swag indeed. 
On November 18th, 2015, Ocean Eyes would be uploaded to SoundCloud, and at the time of this recording, it's been played over 40 million times. The virality of Ocean Eyes would lead to Eilish signing with Apple Music owned Platoon, in which she signed an artist development deal, which would be negotiated by her brother. This would be to polish Eilish before she got her big record deal, and eventually led to her getting a publicist, as well as a stylist, who worked together in building the brand huh? of Billy. In August of 2016, what? Billy signed with a management company, Dark Room, an imprint of Interscope what? Records, and released a video of herself dancing to the song Ocean Eyes, which was also re-released through Interscope. I was 13 when Ocean Eyes came out. The way I talked was different. My style was different. My brain was different. As we know, Billie has gone on to release a good amount of music and is setting herself up for a very successful future. In August 2017, Man, she released her debut EP, bro. Don't Smile At Me, but was releasing singles from it every Friday in July. The EP included tracks such as Ocean Eyes, Bellyache, Copycat, and I Don't Want to Be You Anymore. The EP wouldn't debut too high in the Billboard 200 charts, initially coming in at 185. But in July of 2018, it reached 38, and to no surprise, it would surpass the top 20 mark, peaking at 14 in July of 2019. Let's not forget, guys, this EP debuted back in 2017. And speaking of 2017, this is the year Eilish mm -hmm. would team up with Spotify to push her new music before Apple Music really pushed her into stardom. In September of 2017, Billy was named Apple Music's Up Next Artist, leading her to get an interview with Zane Lowe on Beats One Radio, a live session EP, and a short documentary. After releasing the live EP Up Next Session, Billy Eilish, she would go on to to collaborate with the likes of Vince Staples, Khalid, and slowly but surely become one of the music industry's biggest names. After dropping her debut album, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go in 2019, which would debut at top of the Billboard 200 charts and secure three of her five Grammys, Eilish has continued to dominate the industry, most recently dropping the theme song for the new James Bond film, No Time to Die. Of course, Billie has also been on a few world tours, has already secured the top spot on the Billboard charts with her smash hit Bad Guy, recently snagged her first number one in the UK with No Time to Die, and in 2019, at just 17 years old, was named to Forbes 30 under 30 list. But this is before they're famous, and I think it's quite clear after Ocean Eyes went viral, well, the rest is history. That does it for this one, guys. As always, I look forward to hearing okay, your thoughts below. Listen, I'm and feel about free to, to let us know what you'd like us to cover in the comments down below. Window, I've been your host, Jared Bronson. Why and is we'll there see you guys so the many one. ads on this video, bro? I got spammed like 10 ads. I can't even react to the video properly, bro. This is crazy. That's like the fifth, sixth ad. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Scroll down, leave a like, and subscribe. Hey, Comment down below what reaction videos you want to see next from your boy, and I'll drop them for you, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Kyrie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.